This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Guardians Crusade. Last time we made it to Garum here. I think I talked to everybody outside, so go ahead and start exploring some of the buildings. This time I'll just start off with the item and weapon store and see what they got. We're no superstore, but we've got a great selection of goods. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, once again, they don't have spinach snacks, but everything else is about the same, it looks like. But the same thing, it looks like. Well, um, they do have the... Their worst stuff is the stuff that I already have. So I do have upgrades here already again. I can afford a couple of them, I guess. Or, well, I guess just the one. It looks like the armor's over 10,000 for one of them. I guess I could sell my demon sword. Or, I could just go and do a little bit of leveling up outside and trying to get the onyx shield and armor. So yes, the new ones are royal. Artesian, Onyx, it looks like. So yeah, the Onyx is what I want to get for everything. No element for it. Yeah, going through this now it does strike me that, especially if you're trying to be a completionist and get one of everything, they do have way too many, way too many different weapons and armor in this game, I think, for the length of the game. Because almost every weapon store has three or four new types of weapons and armor, and a couple of the bigger towns have even had two stores. And considering that it only takes you like 10 or 15 minutes to get from each town to the next in general. Yeah, that's a little bit of overkill, I think. And if you're trying to just get them as you go, it really feels like that would be the way you would spend the majority of your time in the game would be farming for money. Fairly big house. But there doesn't seem to be much going on here. Oh, okay. I thought this was just going to lead outside, but maybe this is the mayor's house. Have you heard about the giant in the cave just east of town? Yes. Then you've also heard that poor little Lan is still in there. I don't expect you'll understand, but I had to order the cave to be sealed off. Either that or have a giant running around destroying the entire village. I feel awful about poor Anne. Well, as long as you feel awful, I guess everything's fine, right? Small box under the book. Yeah, I thought there was at least one treasure around here. Remember there being something on a small box, and that looked like a small box. Was that the farthest north building? Looks like it. These are some of those enemies that we fought early on in the game, it looks like. But, it's like they got a ranch here? Yeah, Noigen. Noin. Noi, noi, noi! There's something under the Noigen. Is, is it that? You get an item. Hamburger. 
How did it lay an egg? I don't know if I'd want to eat a hamburger that was underneath that that thing, but... <laughs> what? You'll chase these Noigans away from my house for me? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. These Noigans are domesticated. We raise them for food. Noigans are a very important part of our village economy. Please, no more talk of chasing them away. So what? Kind of like this world's version of cows or something? Or eggs or chickens? I don't know. Great. How many different, how more different buildings do we have here? Quite a few, actually. Yeah, let's stay at the hotel. Alright, so the cafe is in the hotel. A good friend of mine runs a cafe in Easton. I was talking to him just the other day. He told me all about the fight they had to pick the next mayor. It sounded like they had a great fight between two young guys. Yeah, we were one of them. The word of our exploits has traveled. Yeah, 50 rubies. A lot cheaper than... than having. A little cramped up there, but I keep it nice and warm. Yeah, we've had some pretty tough enemies around here, so I will go ahead and drop another save. Didn't mean to hit no. I talk to these guys. Playing in the cave over by the point, and, and all of a sudden this huge monster came out of the back of the cave. I got scared and ran away. I thought Anne was with me. I left her in there. I didn't mean to, but I was so scared. Yeah. I suppose he's just a kid. <laughs> That's a good one, Billy. These kids. I always trying to pull your leg with some crazy story. Just don't go too near the point, and you'll be fine. That guy doesn't believe him. I'm going to fall in one of these times, you know. Oh my gosh, you actually fell in. Are you alright? What's that? You found something? Damaged. I think you know better than... I think you better throw it back. Okay. That was a little interesting. Didn't end up getting anything out of it, but... Heart of a Believer's Only. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a monster in there wheezing and snorting and growling at me, apparently. Did you hear that? There's somebody in there. Remember when Marco was kidnapped by an instant by the cult? Let's check it out. What did it say? I didn't expect to say anything different, so I wasn't paying too much attention. The door is locked from the inside. Monster. Stick to the plan. Remember that Carmine's remember what Carmine said. Okay. So they are in league with Carmine. Apparently. This little town's actually bigger than I thought. I don't care that I don't have a garden or a second floor or that there's only one room in my home, and I love it. Good for you, buddy. Looks like you got everything you need. Mm. 
This one's not very big either, but it looks like it might have a second floor. Is there anybody home? Doesn't look like it. We have enough people to fight off a giant. Problem is that the mayor is a coward and he and doesn't have a prayer now. So people were willing to fight, but the mayor said no. Yes. Maybe some of the people are willing to fight. Might be others that weren't. I looked all over, but I couldn't find any. Collecting living toys is a lot harder than it sounds. Nah. Uh, I was hoping he'd actually find one and maybe I could buy it from him or give it to me, but I guess that's not happening. I don't think I've been in this one yet. I think the mayor was right to seal off the cave. We fought the giant. Who knows how many people might have gotten hurt. Yeah, it's like I said, it, like they weren't all willing to fight. Or didn't all think it was a good idea. I think this might be the last one that I haven't checked yet. Anne's mom. Please let my daughter be alive. Big teddy bear. What a big teddy bear. I had one like that when I was growing up. Hey, look what I found stuck in the teddy bear. Why don't you have a rotten weed in it? Let baby carry some of this stuff. Yeah, it's fine. I got enough room for a few items. Now, I think before I venture into the cave, try to find Anne, I'm gonna head back out to the west over here. And I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get back to that area in the past here where I was fighting those turtle dinosaur guys and we'll try to just level up and get some money so I can buy more of that onyx equipment gonna hypnotize him to sleep with Freud yep Seem to be a decent strategy for these guys. Most RPGs, it seems like physical attacks wake them from sleeping, but it doesn't necessarily do it here. Although this one, he woke up pretty quickly this time. At least he did a single attack tonight. Now nah, I was hoping that would finish him off, maybe, but. Not quite. How far are we from leveling up? Uh, probably two more of these fights for night. And, well, I think it'll take... Yeah, it'll take two to get baby also, so two more fights and they'll both level up. Where 
where are they? Again, he woke up after Knight's first attack. <laughs> yeah, the first time I put the... The first time I used sleep against one of these guys last time, it lasted until I finished him off, but... I guess I must have gotten lucky with that. if I get one more level up if these guys will stop being these dead-eyed white guys at least. At least the sleep seems to land 100% of the time. Yeah, this time he stayed asleep. Maybe wasted a turn because he did the headbutt. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. And let's see how good our level ups are. Now I need about 11,500 for baby and 16,000 for night. And yes, they are they are just regular aggressive enemies now. goal, I think it's just going to be to get like 25,000 rubies because that'll give me enough to get both of my upgrades for equipment. Then we'll move on. So I'll check where I'm at on money after this one and see if we're even going to get another level before we get to that point. I need like I'll do three more fights probably. Still sleeping, that's good. Love to see it.
Nice. Critical hit. Still sleeping, so we should be able to finish this one off without any damage. Try to fight one more of these guys, but I might just kind of, yeah, head in the direction of the town. Although I think once we get past this point or somewhere around here, it's going to start changing into those Bobo Dragons or something else. And I'd rather fight these guys because it is worth more. Yeah, it's kind of like they set this this passageway here as a roadblock to have tougher enemies than what you'd have even beyond it. Just to kind of discourage you from continuing on if you haven't gotten to the proper level. It's a little bit of a test, kind of. plenty of money how close are we to leveling up yeah it'd still take two more of those fights for baby probably it looks like if i run into something else on the way back to town i'll fight it but not really too worried about that we'll fight more once i get into the cave at least i think there are enemies in there get hung up on that guy there. Yeah, and the Cobra Ring and the Heat Ring. Not really too interested in those. I like the one I got. If you don't remember, I have the one that prevents me from getting confused. Ring of Calm. Then we'll go stay at the inn. Just to... Restore my HP mostly. Psychic points too, but I wasn't too low on those. I don't think we need to save again yet. It was somewhere over this way. Yeah, please save little Anne. The plan? Yeah, I, I don't think there's... Yeah, there's nothing over here besides the cave. Okay, got some different music here. Yeah. Living toy... Mode? Yes, is how you'd say that? Body attacks all enemies. Okay. Yeah, we got some more of these ruins type of thing here. Let's 
see Ann anywhere, but we do have the robot here. Or the giant, or whatever it is. So this is the scary giant, eh? All that fuss over a statue. Those silly villagers. Now let's find Ann. Ann! Ann! Come to find you, Ann. Where are you? Ball. Gah! Gah! What the? It's moving. It's alive. So yes, we do actually have to fight the giant Ruval here. I don't remember how tough he is, but he is a boss, so let's get tough wall out for baby. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Glad I, glad I got the defense up for baby. I think I can take one more hit with Knight before I need to worry about healing. Then I'll bring Marilyn out. Yeah, I could probably take another hit even, but just in case he has some kind of really big move or something. Let's go ahead and get the heal. Got some flower power. Wall is gone, it looks like, but let's just keep going. We can't be that much left, I wouldn't think. Yeah, he's still going. Okay, got him. So it's like one of those other guardians that we've faced so far. We didn't actually defeat him. He just fell over. Those were the guys that we've gotten the jewels from, I think, so far, basically. Both gained 5,000. And about 8,000 rubies. So level up for baby, at least. And we're not too far away for night. About 2,000. Baby needs... Close to 14,000 for another one. Stop it, stop it. You're killing him. Stop hurting my friend. What? Did she say friend? Please, leave Raval alone. But he's holding you prisoner. Your father is extremely worried. Ruval isn't keeping me here. He only tried to help me. Then why haven't you gone home? Everybody is worried sick. I couldn't get out. They sealed off the entrance. True, they were afraid that he would attack the village. Ruval would never do that, would you, Ruval? Ah! He understands what you say? Yes, no, I mean, he understands what I'm saying with my heart. Hmm, interesting. Please don't hurt Ruval anymore. We talk to Ruval. Ah! Okay. Well, I guess we could just go back to the village and tell the villagers about Ruval and the Dan safe. He doesn't seem like she's going back with me. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and call it there for today. So 
we'll pick up here next time and we'll go forward with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.